while, I just want to give you a quick dry results on Monday's pour. Or, well, the one for Monday's video, anyway. It has dried beautifully. So happy. And let me show you some of the shine. I'll take it over here where the light's a little brighter. See if I can get it to shift. Oh, you see that shift right there? See that green coming out from that monitor lizard right there? And how the blend of the rising sun gets more orange. Oh, that's so pretty. Look, it just shifts a little bit darker. So cool. All right, I just wanted to let you see that one. Let's get on with the new video. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my studio. I hope you're having a good time. Have you ever had one of those weeks where you're terribly busy and you're just trying to figure out what you can do quick? So, came down to the studio to throw a little paint around for some relaxation. Noticed I had a whole batch of little bits of all these different colors. So, we're gonna throw them in a flip cup, grenade pour it, and see what happens. So, let's get down to the canvas. Hold on. Okay, today we're going to work on a 10 by 10 gallery wrap canvas, level 3. I have my cup with my push pin already in it, ready to go. Now, some of these colors have been around for a while and I'm not quite sure what they are, but I'll give it a go and try and figure it out. So this one I do know is Folk Art Green Gold, Folk Art Treasure Gold Green Gold. I am debating if this is Amsterdam Azo Orange or Artist Loft Vermilion, I can't remember. Might be both. No, I do. Uh, this one is definitely Liquitech Basics Turquoise, but it's got a funny shine to it that it normally doesn't have, so I'm thinking there might be a little uh, metallic cobalt blue from Artist Loft in there. This is definitely DecoArt Emerald. I'm pretty sure this is the Pearlized Crystal Blue, but I'm not positive. This is DecoArt 24K Gold. This is Folk Art Blue Quartz. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Arteza Electric Yellow. This is Liquitech Basics Lime Green. Yeah, this one's pink, or sort of purpley pink. I think this is just a hodgepodge of who knows what. Um, I'm gonna guess this is Amsterdam Titanium White might be Master's Touch Titanium White, but it's Titanium White. And this is Rustoleum Accents in Champagne. Rustoleum Accents Metallics Champagne. All right, so we're gonna take our flip cup. We're gonna throw all this paint in it and see what happens. What could, great. I have plenty in there. I don't really want to throw more. Let's flip it and see if it's a disaster or a beauty. Here we go. Let's push that a bit. Let that sit a second. And we'll pull the pen. Wow. Hold 
that's cool. I've got some white CA here, this is titanium white cell activator. And I'm just gonna play a little bit. Just gonna run a little CA line right through the middle here. Just to give it a little something extra. I'll do one more of those. Add a little something extra here. Oh yeah, that's cool. This is so cool in here. I like this. This is really pretty. This is, eh, it'll do. All right, let's tilt a bit. Because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of paint on here. So let's play with it a bit. See what we want to do. waited to do that swiping after I tilted a bit. <laughs> so most of my pretty lacing is gone, but still a lot of paint on here. Let's see if I can move a little more off. There's some really cool places here. I think I may get my little swiper tool out one more time. Now that I've pretty much gotten everything off, I'm gonna take off. And maybe we'll just add a wee bit more somewhere where it's not quite as special. up some of the color that was hidden underneath there. Pulled that yellow right up. that set a second but torch it one more time and then we're gonna do maybe a wee bit of tilting and we'll be done right, is that right 
there. It looks like I'm getting canvas. Tiny bit of tilting just to clean up some edges and because I'm realizing there's still quite a lot of paint on here because that moved really fast all of a sudden. I'm going to clean up a bit and then I'll bring you down to take a closer look. Okay, we have wet results. This has some really cool stuff in it. I love where I put some of the lacing in randomly. I like this corner over here. That's really cool. Get in the center here. There's such little bright spots here and there. Little touches of the brighter colors coming through. This little pink down here in this corner is so cute. And then that is really pretty. And that's really pretty. And then this beautiful brightness up here. Oh, so pretty. Now I am 90% sure that we will not have dry results. But we're going to let it sit a little while and see what happens. Hang in there. Okay, as suspected, this is not all the way dry. It is about, oh, maybe 40% dry, maybe less. But it is drying really well. I am very happy with it. Cool stuff going on here. So you will see this dry in a future video. Look at that right there. That is so cool. All right, thank you so much for being here with me. This is part of our Friday with Friends, so please follow along the train. After me will be Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art, followed by Acrylic Creations, by Jay Witte and Oak by Bettina. All the links will be down in my description box. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everyone. <laughs>